Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. As you can see from the screen, I love AWS. I'm 10 times AWS certified. I love Kubernetes. I'm full, fully certified on Kubernetes. I just added another one, KCSA. I'm an AWS community builder. I'm also a CNCF ambassador. Please feel free to follow me by any one of the links listed here. So today I'm going to show you how you can just run one command in about 15 minutes to automate uh, Amazon EKS 1.29. That's the latest Kubernetes cluster on AWS Cloud. Here is what I'm going to do in the lab demo. I'm not going to show you how to create a trial account. Yeah, because it only take five minutes to sign up a trial account. You can follow the link listed here. So I will focus on how to automate uh, Amazon EKS cluster. So basically this is a link. You can see the source code. Yeah, the magic command, it's called EKS-deploy.sh command. And once you've done your testing, you might want to clean them, clean them up. You don't want to be keep charged by AWS with the second command. EKS-destroy will remove everything we created part of the demo. So let me jump to the AWS console, actually. Before that, let me show you. Here is a little bit of preparation tasks. If you don't have an AWS CLI installed, you might follow the link to install AWS command line tools. And then you need to run AWS configure to uh, including your access key, secret key, etc. And then once you have the AWS CLI installed, you can clone the repository from my GitHub page. And optionally, you can also customize the cluster name, instance type, region, or zone, etc. Now let me jump to the AWS console. So I jump to the AWS console. As you can see, let, let me verify. Do I have an EKS cluster? I don't have an EKS cluster uh, from a US East 2 region. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to show you my GitHub page, the first one EKS dash CASA, and then go straight to the readme section. So instead of you install AWS command line tools, you can use AWS Cloud Shield. That's uh, what I'm going to show you right now. I already opened up the AWS Cloud Shield. Next, next command, I'm going to clone the repository. You might see an error message since I already cloned the repository, but it doesn't matter. So now the next command, uh, I'm going to change to the directory, run an AWS uh, prep command. Uh, that one only required if some of the tools are not installed. So let me verify. So I'm going to run the command, AWS prep command. Yeah, it looks like uh, my command line tools are installed. So the next one, you can optionally customize the class name. I'm not going to customize it. So I'm going to run the eks-deploy.sh command. So I kick off the command. So typically it takes about 15 minutes. So we're going to create the whole eks cluster. So what we are going to create. So let me show you from a slide deck. So first of all, we're going to create an EKS cluster rule, node IAM rule, all these policies associated with these IAM rules. And then we're going to create a control plane node and followed by the node groups. But obviously there are a bunch of the other resources also part of the automation will be created. And also part of the automation, the EKS-deploy.sh command, we will also deploy a sample database, a PostgreSQL database. So yeah, this command, it does take about 15 minutes. So let me pause here until it finished. All right, as you can see from the screen, now the creation, it progressed pretty well. So behind of the scene, you can see there are two sequential tasks. First of all, we're going to use the automation. Uh, we are actually using EKS CTL to create a control plane first. And once the control plane is ready, we're going to create a managed node group. 
So this is the name of the managed work group. Right now, we are actually creating the managed work group. So if you want to verify, actually, behind the scene, it is going to create a two cloud formation stack. So if you launch the cloud formation stack, you can see right now we're moving, uh, we're creating a node group. So create the control plane. It is actually already complete. Now we're creating the node group. So shortly it should be uh, finished. So while we're waiting, let me jump to the Slides. So just to resummarize, EKS dash deploy dot fetch. I just added a little bit more information here. So not only we are going to create a control plane and a node group, we are actually also create a separate VPC subnets, internet gateway, security groups, elastic load balancer, etc. We are also enabling the EBS CSI drivers, so you don't have to manually to follow the guide to create to enable the CS, uh, EBS CSI driver. It is actually pretty complex if you follow the documentation from our uh, Amazon website. Okay, so while we're waiting, let me just walk you through a little bit more. So just a reminder, if you don't want to be charged, keep charged by AWS, you should, yeah, let me remove, change this one to EKS. So basically, once you've done your testing, you should destroy the environment. It's part of your loaning process. So how to remove the whole EKS cluster and the relevant resources. You just run EKS dash destroy dot sh to clean up the whole environment. So basically, we will remove the EKS cluster and all the relevant resources, including node group, control plane, your cluster row, EBS, CSI driver, the VPC, security groups, et cetera. Okay, just including a few reference links here. So all of these automation code, it's available from my GitHub page. Here is a link. And if you want to follow the official documentation, here is a link, take you to the EKS official documentation page. If you really like to create the EKS cluster from web console, I also created a video about how to create the EKS cluster from the web console. Yeah, basically it's more, there are more steps, more mouse clicks, etc. It takes a little bit more time. So let me verify if the cluster is ready. Yeah, we are almost there. Yeah, right now we are enable the CSI driver of the EKS cluster, as I say, I make it fully automated, even enabling the CSI driver, it's part of the automation automatically enable the CSI driver. So it looks like I still need to take uh, about one minute or two minutes. Uh, let me just walk you through, share you a few more reference. So first of all, here is a Kasuga Kubernetes user group. This is the most active Kubernetes user group. If you haven't joined us, yeah, you should join us. Yeah, there are already about 4,000 people following us. Here's a QR code, please follow us. And if you're really keen to learn a little bit more, you might have some questions about the Kubernetes. You should join us, the KSDM, that's the most active Kubernetes discussion group. Feel free to post your questions over there. You can feel free to tag us at Kesuga or hashtag Kesuga or hashtag KSDM. So we actually already got uh, over 6,600 members. I don't know how long, yeah, probably one year, two years. Yeah, a lot of people follow this group, the lone Kubernetes. So by now, let's verify if the cluster is ready. Yeah, it looks like uh, this time it take uh, 15 minutes, 21 seconds to complete the whole task so let's see what the version. So if I do Kubernetes, uh, Kube control get nodes, you can see we're running the latest version 1.29. I only have one node. If you want to check what pods are running, so you can see here is a system pods. In addition to the system pods, I also have a PostgreSQL database, part of my, uh, my automation deployed as a sample database. What storage class do I have? So as I said earlier, I enabled the EBS CSI and make it a default storage class. 
And a PostgreSQL database actually is using the EBS uh, storage class. If I get to the PVC, you can see the PVC has been used by a PostgreSQL database. Okay, if you want to verify from the web console, if you just do a refresh, you can see I got a new cluster just created a moment ago. It's running 1.29. I think that's pretty much all I want to cover for today. If you have any questions, feel free to follow me via any one of the links listed here. If you do find this is useful to you, please share and uh, like the video or share with your friends. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. Bye.